Clark are in uniform and ready to talking about trades and how about right here with St. Louis? Well, that's a good face. Will the thrill. I mean, this guy is, uh, if you remember, 87. with of defensive changes for St. Louis. Will Clark seeing his first action. The Redbird uniform takes over for Perez at first. J.D. Drew stays in. center field that's going to get down and Clark's on his way to extra bases off the wall and he will trot into second welcome to St. Louis Will Clark first at bat and a double against Montreal nothing's changed has it this guy can flat out hit and of course he got himself into a hitter's count and there he just got a little bit off the end of the bat or this probably would have been a home run he goes off the wall and just look at that controlled swing. And I think we're going to have fun watching this guy. Uh, but, uh, you know, for whatever time I'm here, uh, my job is just to hold the fort down until uh, Mark can come back. You know, he is uh, he's the man. And, uh, you know, I've already been in Tony LaRusse's office, and I said, listen, you know, I'll do whatever you need me to do. And, uh, you know, when Mark comes back, it's, it's the same thing. I'll do whatever you need me to do. And... Uh, that's the way teams win. That's the way uh, teams ap approach it in the postseason, and uh, that's why. One of those lefties in the lineup is Will Clark. He will bat fourth. Of course, McGuire is still out. Will Clark is back in the National League with the St. Louis Cardinals, and he said he's loving every minute of it so far. Definitely. Um, you know, I mean, when you, you're sort of born and raised, I guess you want to say, in the National League and in the kind of baseball that they have there. And then all of a sudden to uh, go over to American League where it's sort of a laid back, sit back type of game, uh, this is this is definitely a, a plus because I get back to a, a, a very crisp type ball game, uh, a ball game that I was used to for quite a few years. And, uh, you know, after having played against Tony La Russa for so long and, and to be finally with him and his coaching staff, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Good. St. Louis, he said, I always considered it a great hitter's ballpark. And now, he said, be a little, little nice. He doesn't. Fly ball left field. Opposite field. Guerrero going back. Looking up. And that ball is gone. Will Clark, opposite field, goes deep. He's two for two in his Cardinals debut. A double and now a home run. one nothing, St. Louis. Will the thrill. And i tell you one thing. You know, Cardinal fans have never, ever disappointed me. And they've always acknowledged every player that's come through. But this is a tire club playing 17 out of 20 on the road. They need the fans to step up like they always have. Not only recognize Will Clark and show their appreciation of what Walt did, but for being easy to hit home runs in. Opposite way for Will it. Clark. Easy swing, opposite field. And Will Clark is three for his first three in a St. Louis uniform. First inning, he went deep. That was number one to put the Redbirds on. One ball and two strikes on Clark. Line drive, base hit into right. J.D. Drew will score. Edmonds makes a turn around third. He'll stop right there. And Will Clark tonight run two RBIs had the double last night and a sweet swing of Will Clark. Oh, it's just so fluid and you throw strikes to him and he's going to hit the ball hard. And if anybody thought that on for 15 seconds and the folks most of them get to their feet to welcome the Cardinal newcomer here in the hope that he will help to propel the Cardinals to the division title. Left-handed pitcher Glavin, left-handed batter Clark, first pitch in the Cardinals second, fly ball, deep left center, it is gone, adios, adios, what's he trying to do, be a hero, one to nothing Cardinals. a crowd for a standing ovation, doesn't he? I'll say. <laughs> wow. Jack, we knew they were going to fall in love with him, but man, this is brokenness. 
not only the arrows, but the whole basket of it. By the way, he's five out of six in a Cardinal uniform. Two of them home runs. What's he trying to do? Here. Which is what that was for Will Clark. That's well hit into right field. Back is Jordan. At the wall, it's gone. Two run home run, Clark. First pitch. He does it again. It's 3 nothing St. Louis. <laughs> and I don't have to walk on. <laughs> well, Clark probably thinking, well, you know, first pitch today, an inside, looks like a slider or a cut fastball, the third home run in 10 at bats as a Cardinal. Goodness, what a story. Mm -hmm. And another pitch is coming. Clark swings another high fly ball into right field. It's tantalizing. It's at the track. It's a home run. And we're tied 3 3. He is doing it game after game after game. That's his fourth Cardinal home run. It was more than tantalizing, wasn't it, Joe? Got up into the seats. Jordan made it more tantalizing than anything. It got into the front row of the seats, well over the wall. That beautiful swing, the big finish. He's played in five games. He's only started in four straight. And this crowd wanted a curtain call yesterday. They didn't get it. One. He's going back to thank. Fly ball down the right field line on an 0-2 pitch. And another one. And there it goes. Home run for Will Clark. 1-0 St. Louis. Clark with home run number six. And he tore up the Braves when they came to town at Bush Stadium. Stadium and there's that high fastball. It was running up and away and he said not many can hit out. And look at this. Some guys are just locked in. Their everyday second baseman is out for the year. Will Clark, high drive into center. Did he do it again? It's at the wall, and it is gone. A home run for Will Clark. His second in this game. He owns Kevin Millwood. That is what, Al, the fourth time he's hit a home run against Millwood? He's, he's More recently, the one time Oriole. Now the one two. Into right center. He pulled it. Wilson dives. He cannot get to it. It's on the warning track. It'll drive in the tying run. Drew scores easily. Clark into third standing. It's a 2 2 ball game. Two balls and no strikes on the thrill. Fly ball. This game may be tied. Will Clark, he has done it again. 1 1 on the home run by Will Clark. Boy, has he been something. Number 17 for Will Clark this year. He was over, but he threw him a fastball, 80 more, 84 mile an hour fastball that's in the strike zone. Should be hit hard. The scoring here in the in the second inning for the Cardinals. Runner is going. A drive into right. That's going to get down. Edmonds around second. He's going to score. And the Cardinals have taken the lead thanks to Will Clark here in the ninth. 3 2 St. Louis. Give a little credit. Jim Edmonds was running on the pitch. And so they played a little aggressive and it comes through. These pitchers ought to be taking it. Here's a ground ball. Great oh. play by Clark. He throws to Hinkins. How about that play? This Redbird. He swings, hits it in the left. It's a base hit. That means two runs. What a piece of hitting in the Cardinals' lead. Two to nothing. That was a picture. They'd have shown up about the third inning, and they're going to be in for a treat. They still got eight and a half innings left. Will Clark swings up the middle. It goes. It's a base hit. Two runs are going to score. The other man goes for third without a play, and the Cardinals lead two to one on a hit. Will Clark with the
dish base hit up the middle. That would score two. That was a great at bat by Will Clark. Fought off a bunch of tough pitches. Beanie and Drew come around to score. This crowd was excited. It was 2-1 St. Louis. Well, we saw and uh, thank you, Al. One of the acquisitions down the stretch was this man, Will Clark. What a feeling. And I'll tell you what, this is awesome. Uh, you know, the guys, they, they've done a great job all year long before guys like myself and Mike Timlin and Jason Christensen got over here. And, uh, you know, we, all we tried to do is just keep the train rolling, and it's been rolling pretty good. Well, you had talked Cruel game sometimes, folks. And Woods walked home another man. That's eight walks in the game. That makes it three to nothing, St. Louis, and Carey's day is done. Another need delivered. Runners are going. Will Clark into center. Patterson going back, looking up, gone. Grand slam for Will Clark. The fifth in his career, and the Cardinals have the lead. And we retired earlier that home run for the Cardinals this year. That is a new career high. Ball down and away. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Well hit. Right field. See you later. A two-run Will Clark homer. Cardinals on top. Talked about Will and his leadership. And applauds his Reds. That Cincinnati ball club battled us pretty well this week. Better believe it. They came in here to make a state. Made some deals at the trading deadline and, and got uh, Clark in here to help the offense. Will Clark homered in each of the first four games he started for St. Louis and gave the Cardinals a great emotion. Formidable team. Tober has back. He homered five times against Atlanta. In the seven games, the Cardinals played against the Braves. Base hit. That will get Drew home. Over to third base is Edmonds. The Cardinals have two on the board with nobody out. This ball is up out over the plate. He takes it right over the se second baseman's head. When he first joined this Cardinal team, he played against the Braves. And against Greg Maddox and his Chicago Cubs at that time. Clark was... My first at bat off of Maddox, I had hit a, hit a fastball away for a double. Then I hit a a change up on a 3-2 count for my next at bat was a home run and uh, pretty much the only pitch I hadn't seen all day was a fastball in and uh, I went up there looked fastball in and I got it. And Torea and Edmonds were running on the last pitch. There they go. High in the air. Deep into right center field. Jordan all the way back to the wall. It is gone.
will the thrill. He's always had one of the sweetest swings in baseball. It's not quite a guy. We asked Will Clark about the significance of playing in front of these great Cardinal fans. I definitely think it makes you a better player. Um, you know, you want to stay on an even keel. You don't want to get too high and too low. But uh, the concentration level can definitely be bumped up a notch. And, uh, you know, so far uh, that's the one thing that I've found in my two months here is that uh, the concentration level has been at its, at its utmost, which I need it to be. And uh, also I'm having a lot of fun. Fun and so are the Cardinal fans. Yeah. The Orioles. Only... but not that far and Will really doesn't try to get out of the way. You just see him, he just, he doesn't move his arm. The four. I mean, you cannot, if you wrote this. Will Clark, a three-run first inning homer to turn this game around. And the Braves just could not shut down the Cardinals. Paul Morgan, Alvaro Martin, and our entire ESPN crew. I'm John Miller. Thanks for tuning in. And standing next to me, Mark McGuire had to feel somewhat like Wally Pip until he hit that home run in the eighth inning. Will Clark, a home run yourself in that first inning. What were your thoughts? Two men on, you're already trailing 2 nothing. Well, you know, I mean, against a guy like Tom, you got to tip your cap, and you sort of... You sort of got to take what he gives you, and uh, we had a battle going. I worked at the 3-2, and he left one up out over the plate, and I was able to deposit it in the bullpen. But, you know, the big thing was that that home run right there got these fans into it and got the momentum back. The lefties in your lineup were 4 for 6 against him with a hit by pitch and a walk. What was the philosophy going in against Tom Glad? You know, what we were trying to do is we were trying to, to go out there and get a good pitch to hit. It's basically the same thing that we did with Maddox. I mean, these guys are awesome pitchers. They're, they're 20 game winners for a reason. And if you let that first good one go, uh, there's a pretty good chance you ain't going to get it again. And uh, that's been our philosophy. It's worked. What does it say about the character of this team be up 2 nothing in this series without Mike Matheny, really without Mark McGuire? Well, I'll tell you what, um, you know, Mike Matheny was, was our bull, bull behind the plate all year long, and, uh, you know, we lost him in an unfortunate accident. But, you know, Carlos Hernandez has stepped up and done a whale of a job. And then Mark, I think Mark sort of understands his role now, and uh, he, he understands that he can go out there and make a big impact also, which he did with the, with the homer, which gave us the insurance run there in the ninth. You yourself, you struggled in the playoffs in the American League. National League, you've always played great in the postseason. What is it about National League postseason <laughs> that brings out the best in Will Clark? I don't know, but I think that American League, I ran into a juggernaut called the Yankees there for about two years. So, yeah, you know, that, that stuff happens, but, uh, you know, you try to get a good pitch to hit. Put, the good, put a good swing on it and you know we're doing a pretty good job right now because Jim Edmonds is on base all the time Fernando uh, Vina has set the table for us and you know it's been really a good team effort here these last two games you were rejuvenated by the move here to St. Louis in midseason actually just a couple of months ago does it have to do with this crowd, with this atmosphere that helped so much, obviously, in these two games? Well, definitely. I mean, you know, when I came over here, the, the, these people gave me a stand ovation my first at-bat. And from what I've seen, it's carried over not only for myself, but everybody on the team. They appreciate good baseball and what people do. And, you know, hey, listen, I tip my cap because they've made my, my life a lot more fun here the last few months. Will, thanks very much. The Braves down 2 nothing to the Cardinals in this division series. come over now this is after that pitch he says listen if you're hurting you get out of here don't put yourself in jeopardy right now we've got other guys that can pitch here and Clark knew what was going on Stevenson was trying
those four to be a threat in the postseason. Well, the acquisition of Jim Edmonds to give them that center fielder and the impact hitter in their lineup, even when they lost Mark McGuire, they went out and brought in Will Clark, and he was a dramatic spark to the offense. But the pitching staff was revamped, led by Daryl Kyle and the bullpen boss of McGuire and then Mike Matheny. And Will Clark and Edgar Renteria head up into the clubhouse now. Jeremy Schaap down in the clubhouse. Okay, we're here with Will Clark, Fernando Vina. Will, Will, Fernando, obviously a tremendous victory. You probably, you definitely thought you could beat the Cardinals. Did you think the Braves, did you think you could sweep? Well, I'll tell you what, we, uh, we went out there and we battled, and this man right here set the tone, you know? Jimmy, Jimmy Edmonds is our MVP, but this man set the tone the whole series. Fernando, the home run in the first inning, what were your thoughts as you were facing Kevin Millwood? I just knew we had to go out and, and, and try to get things going early and score some runs because uh, they got a great team over there, and Millwood's a great pitcher. And uh, I just wanted to go up there and get a good pitch, and thank God I hit it out. Will, when you came here on July 31st, did you ever imagine it could end up this good? I tell you what, it's getting better. That's all it is. It's getting better. And I, when I first showed up, this is a special ball club. I said it from the start. These guys accepted me right away. And you know what? It's getting better. It's getting better. I mean, these guys are peaking at the right time. They're playing great. How much did the home field advantage mean to you guys in this series, not having to start here at Turner Field? It meant a lot. I mean, playing at home, our fans are the best fans around ever in the whole world. And playing at home was special for us, and, and it was a good way for us to get going. And thanks to Willie here, man. He brings so much to our club, and, and uh, he's a gamer, man. He's been so many places, done so many things. I appreciate his leadership that he helped me with. Will, how much has Jim Edmonds meant to your success here? It's unbelievable. I mean, you know, Fernando sets the table, but then Jimmy mops it up, and uh, he, he's our MVP. He showed it out here in this series. He came through in the clutch the whole series, and uh, we're going to go uh, celebrate with him a little bit. Will, thanks a lot. Right, Fernando, thank thanks you, very much. Back up to you, Jim. As a hitter, you take advantage of what's given you. You know, if a guy makes a mistake over the plate, it's supposed to be hit. If a guy's pitching on the corners and getting some pitches right off the corners, he's going to be tough. That's how this process works. Sports.com. You've been watching Fox Sports. Trying to get something started. Pretty well hit into left center field. Back is Peyton on the dead run. Can't get there. Lead off double will Clark to start the bottom of the fourth. Will Clark's eyes lighting up on this high fast. Right now, one on one out for Will Clark. Line drive fair toward the right field corner. Hernandez will go to third. Okendo will hold him there. Perez does a great job of getting that ball back into the end. A chance to see McGuire. Broken bat base hit. What a play by Perez.com. You've been watching. Getting stuck for half an hour in a street. They pass right handers. To the right side and through. Edmonds will hold at third as Perez comes up. Vina gets the out at first. The tag for the sending at Bayani toward first. Clark takes for St. Louis. And the to go with his 15 strikeouts. Clark hits that ball well into deep left center field. Peyton at the wall. It's gone. An opposite field poke by Will Clark, and it's a 7-3 Met lead. Sounded good off the bat and just jumped out the opposite way. Just shy of the 396 mark, out on the wall in left center field. Joe, you and I were talking uh, between innings. Uh, we have to both agree that this game is not over.